Well, hello, my friends. Mama's in the kitchen again. <laughs> Only this time, someone has requested to give, uh, how do I put this? Show the, the items that I like to cook with and to give some tips and ideas. And I got to thinking about this one. And uh, I did my walk-in this morning. And you know what, guys? After I, I do my walking and everything, I get in my gown because I don't go anywhere. I'm on the ranch. Unless uh, I'm going to go somewhere with Nedra, which that doesn't happen very often. I get comfortable in my own house because there ain't nobody here to see me. <laughs> so there's times you'll see me all dressed up and there's times you'll see me in my gown. And Mama's in the kitchen. I've noticed that every time I do one, I'm in my gown. <sighs> Too funny, right? But um, what are y'all going to do? What y'all gonna do with me? Mm. Okay, so these are the things that I have enjoyed using. Now, the one thing, actually the two things that I really, really like blending with is I'm gonna show you. And they're, you know, some of these things are expensive and some of these things are cheap. Some of these things have been given to me and some of the things I've had for years. Okay, so I'm gonna turn you around. All right, guys, my ninja. I love and I found it on sale for $19 at um, Walmart now the thing I like about the ninja is that it has the blade one on top one on the bottom so this will uh, blend ice when I do my shakes a lot better than any blender I've ever used okay I love my kitchen aid. My husband got me that uh, one Christmas that I was really, really wanting a kitchen aid, and I use it up to. The next thing is the Nutra Bullet, and this was all. These were these were gifts. This was a gift, and this is uh, what is this called? That's a Baya, a Baya uh, blender, and a Nutra Bullet. Now, this I use only for salsas or when I blend up my uh, beans. Uh, when I make black beans, and sometimes, you know, you have to blend them up to give it a good taste, and you put the, put them back in the beans. Anyway, this is one, and this is the other one. Now, the only re the only way I use my neutral bullet is for juicing, and I do that sometimes two or once a week. I'm trying to get in, used to getting at least a, a, a juice a day, I mean a day, a week. I have a large one, and I have the little teeny tiny one and I have the medium one and it's just me and Eric it just depends like I make my beans all the time in the big one uh, I use my uh, choppers this is uh, of course the Cuisinart um, oh I can't think of the name of this but you guys know what this is and then this has been a huge blessing let me take this out well, chopper now you can find this at Walmart at Walgreens it's just it usually costs ten dollars guys and I think I've used it I've dropped it a couple of times in the sink. Be very careful you don't drop it. But this will cut up all of my celery and onion when I do a tuna and chicken salad. This is what I use the most. So you think that you think that these little cheapy things are not, uh, you know, that they're too cheap to to use. Honey, I have had this. Oh my goodness. A, over 10 years already. Over 10 years. Now, the next thing that I have that I use a lot of is uh, my hand blenders you know this is a little cheapy one too uh, I love this one this is my favorite this is a little bit harder a uh, bigger blade but uh, it also comes with a whipper so like if I'm gonna whip for the my frittata or whatever I can put this and use this so uh, and I have it organized in a little organizer drawer comments about the hair and VSG Tanya is going to do these uh, Rocky Berrigan had these uh, cauliflower bakes is what I call them but they were like potato bakes like a potato like a baked potato and I make them I actually make that recipe and uh, and uh, anyway if I can re if I remember I'll put it at the bottom of the list links but anyway I was telling VSG Tanya to make sure she steams and I wasn't trying to be bossy. I've just, I've boiled the cauliflower and, there, and too much water is left in the cauliflower. So what I have done to prevent that is I steam my cauliflower. And I said, and she comes back and she says, well, how do you do that? She, and she said, I know this is a stupid question. And I, and I thought to myself, 
No question is a stupid question. Oh, by the way, I don't have no bra on. <laughs> anyway, so this is what I do. I take a pot like this. I fill it with water, okay? And I have lots of different col uh, colanders. I have all kinds, just all kinds. This is my favorite. It's got a little handle on it. And, of course, it's back from the 50s. I, I don't know that I've not seen another one. I buy these at... At the thrift. Where else? <laughs> Where else do I get my stuff? Anyway, I filled this up. You can see how many times I filled it up with water. It even has the the line already in there. And my mama used to call this a, a, a Doña Maria. And I I put I put the water in. Then I put my colander in. And then I throw my cauliflower in, or whatever you're going to steam. This goes. You can steam anything. Anything. Before I got my microwave, I was warming up uh, leftover meat, like a uh, steak or whatever. I'd put it in foil, put it in here, and it would warm up my meat. But then, of course, my friend bought me my microwave, so <laughs> Sherry. Anyway, uh, Sex Occasion Girl. Or Sex Occasion. She didn't, it's not Sex Occasion Girl, but it's Sex Occasion. Anyway, so then you put the top on, and you let it, you just leave it alone until it gets tender. And you could do it. This is this is probably a double boiler, but this is the only way I know how to do it. This is the way I've been doing it for years. Now, if you don't want to get all fancy like I do, <laughs> and you want to go this way, you can do it this way. This is the easiest way. You take a Ziploc steam bag, and uh, I just buy these at the dollar store. And uh, three bags come in here, but they're reusable. Uh, I don't even. I don't think you're supposed to reuse them, but you can if you want. I don't see why not. Throw them in here with a little bit of water. Uh, it says uh, how to, it gives you the instructions. You could steam them that way. All right. Someone asked me uh, the other day what I use to measure my tilapia, uh, and she said, "How did you get five ounces of tilapia? Because they're usually small." Well. Of course, I don't think to say all these things on, on video, but what I did is I measured it here. Now, you know, my tilapia was frozen at the time, so I put one down and then I put the other one down. One was two something and the other one was three something. That's why I said it was like five something. <laughs> That's how I measure. Okay, my favorite pots and pans. I've showed you what I like to roast in. The next thing that I like, I bought this also at a thrift store, and it is just like the one that you need to season, only this one you can just wash out really easy. This one, I still do what my mama used to do, oil it a little bit, let it burn on the, on the you know, get it really, really hot, and let it dry out really good. But these cast iron, this is cast iron too. And these are just my favorite. I love them. This is a little one. They're both little. They're both size. Uh, this one says 16. It's just hard to believe. Taco wants to get out of the room. Can y'all hear him? Uh, what number is this? This is so old. This doesn't come with numbers. They used to come with numbers. Like this one has it. This one has an eight. This is my big one. And this has an eight on it. And y'all know about this, this I put out on the grill too. My husband loves for me to make roast, and he makes roast now. I don't even make them anymore. He knows how to do them. And he puts this out on the grill. Such a great taste when you use your cast iron. It's just amazing what you can do with cast iron. Now, do I always use cast iron? Hold on, guys. Let me get talk out of the room. When I want to make like a little roast of something, just a little something for me and blue eyes, I use this. My sister brought this on the road from, from Dallas, Texas to California when, when we did our documentary together. And this thing weighs a ton. But it is an amazing thing for something that you want to cook for one person or usually two people. But I will, I've even made soup in this just for me and him. 
So this is pretty cool. I love my little uh, my little roaster. It, it's just an amazing little tool that you can use, or a little pan that you can use for two people or one person. It's casserole. You can do casseroles in here too, and it's pretty deep. You can see that it's pretty deep, but it's enough for two people. I want to have to redo this whole video. Okay, stop now. And the uh, pan that I use the most. Uh, you know, when I want something to just slide on out. Now, these work, they slide on out, too. They just got to be really, really hot. And sometimes I don't want my skillet to be that hot. This, the handle comes off. Oh, it did. <laughs> comes off. So you can put this for a frittata. You can put these in the, in the oven, too. But I just like putting this one in. Um, these I've had for years. Look, there's nothing... There's no, there's no, nothing that uh, you could say that that black stuff is coming off. Because some people, they, they say, Rosemary, you shouldn't use that pan. Because it's Teflon and Teflon's not good for you. Well, let me tell you how I use these. I don't use metal on these. I don't use wood on these. I use things that are like this. That are plastic or that takes the heat. Um, silicone. That's what I use. So, uh, it's not coming off. Now, if it comes off on my food, I'm sorry. You guys, don't get offended. But I just, I love this pan when I need it to just slide on out. Now, you can even do cakes and stuff on here. Not that I'm, you know, promoting cakes. But um, I do make a protein cake. And you guys, y'all know that recipe. Anyway, so. Uh, I forgot what to mention where I get the pan. I, I bought the pan at Sam's in the kitchen area, and those pans are sold for restaurants. So they're really good pans. And uh, again, I don't want to offend anybody because it's Teflon, but uh, I've enjoyed having those pans. And I've had those pans uh, 10 years because I've been here 10 years, and I bought them when I, when I got here. Okay. Say this is going, this has taken me forever to finish this video, so I will talk a little bit about what I like in other videos of Mama's in the Kitchen. I hope I answered your question, sweetheart. I'm glad that you're asking. And um, she's fairly new at cooking, and so she just wanted to see some of the things that I that I use on a daily basis. Uh, there's, a, oh, there's so much more that I could show you. These are uh, one of my favorite things to do when I go to Antonia's house is to go to Tuesday morning. And she says, you're addicted to those to those uh, uh, spatulas. I go, I know. I love getting all kinds of sizes. I have this one. Uh, and the best ones are the ones that are rubber all the way through. Like this is wood. And I kind of have to worry about, you know, burning this. But I love these kind. And uh, here's one that I use all the time. You guys have seen me. This, this one's dirty from the sink. But I use this one all the time. And I'm looking for one like this that is, uh, I'm not even going to say that because somebody's going to say I'm asking for something. <laughs> Never mind. But anyway, my favorite thing is to, is to uh, pick up all kinds of sizes of these. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Come back to Mama's in the Kitchen in her gown. <laughs> I love you guys. Have a great weekend.